Hey, you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Quill18 Saturday, a live stream of awesome. We're going to be playing some Crusader Kings 2 today. Let's flip on over to the main view and hope I got the camera set up right. Hello! Looks like I got to tilt down just a scooch so that we don't miss the green screen. Hey! Hello, all you viewers out there. Nice to see a nice big crowd today as we go on a um, land conquering cousin marrying baby murdering spree through Europe I suppose which honestly is this game all that different from Dwarf Fortress I don't know we're playing some Crusader Kings 2 today last week I did poll twitch.tv subscribers to see which games they would like to see and uh, Dwarf Fortress came in first last week which is why we played that but Crusader Kings 2 is a close close second so that's why we're gonna be playing it this week plus I've never played the way of life now of course <clears throat> we're gonna be using a lot of twitch chat interaction today Twitch chat interaction tends to lead, lead to um, awesome stuff, fun stuff, not necessarily the optimal way to conquer the world, but we're sure to have a good time. So if you're watching this for like really primo play, well, A, I don't have that much experience with CK2 and certainly none with the new mod, and B, I'm going to be following these wackos in the chat. Hello, Slashes and Bunisher and Amra Selendil and Drax Dragon and Zaktor and Miss Carsonel and... Mercury Rider? I don't know. Gladi, Sebus, Andre, KSP, Son of Stig, Silas, and all y'all beautiful and attractive people. So, did I, I said and attractive, but I realized it came out so sounding a little like unattractive, so I wanted to clarify that. Um, so, when I put up my video letting people know that there would be a CK2 livestream, and I said, what should we play as? Um, and there were a lot of really good uh, suggestions. One of the ones, the one I thought might be the uh, the most fun to do, even though it's been done by other people in the past, um, actually involves my favorite um, bookmark, which is states starting in 1066, either the uh, Stamford Bridge bookmark or the William the Conqueror bookmark, which are very, very, very similar. Uh, the biggest difference between these two is basically just if you happen to be playing in Great Britain, uh, it'll determine whether William the Conqueror has def definitively won the battle uh, or if it's still going on. But, and I like this time period because to me this is the, I don't know, this is the primo sort of medieval-ish era. I don't know what you would call these different um, these different eras exactly, uh, but th this is one of one I'm, the ones I'm more interested in. Less Charlemagne-y, less, you know, the Viking stuff is really cool, especially if you're playing, you know, somewhere in here, one of the Nordic countries. But what we're going to be playing is we are going to be playing Habsburg. In fact, the only Habsburg, which is an Argau over here. I have no idea if that's how you say it. In my mind, the uh, Habsburg were um, a clan of pirates who decided to settle here in Argau. Ah, uh, okay. Um, apparently, this is uh, the River R. Maybe this one or one of the other rivers that's not on the map. Um, and that's what's going on. But here, if we click on it, especially if we go to um, the count mode, you can see over here, Count Werner of Argau of the Van Habsburg. Of course, the Van Habsburgs in reality will grow to basically rule almost all of Europe. Their family spreads far and wide, and they become a great and influential power. But to start off here, we are just a single count. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, 1066 is a rough beginning of the medieval age, incinerated says. Yeah, I think I think they consider like the, uh, the Charlemagne stuff the start of the feudal era, the proper start of maybe feudalism, and then this is the start of the medieval era. Whatever that means. I mean, these things are always so, so fuzzy. I played a, um, like a trivia game the other day, and uh, one of the questions was, what, what, basically, effectively, what year was the final crusade in? What year was the 12th and final crusade in? And the answer, I think, was 1272, if I recall correctly. And I was like, I, 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 I threw a fit, because um, that was not the 12th crusade and it wasn't really necessarily the last crusade either um but you know how do you define what a crusade is and there's all these funny fuzzy things when trying to define things and yeah anyway so there's argau right over here where we are right now what is this diplomatic relations what do we have with uh, the count of burn the county of burn i think you are married to someone ah you're married to my sister very interesting Okay, so we have a bit of an alliance here with um, with the Count of Bern. What's really interesting, if we take a look at our dude, our direct liege is the Emperor. 
the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Kaiser Heinrich III, who is 16 years old. He is already married. Uh, I don't know, maybe we could cap his wife and then get married in there somewhere, but he's our direct person. Now, he doesn't like us too terribly much. Unfortunately, we're cynical versus zealous, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's take a look at our traits. We are a tough soldier. Not bad. I mean, it's sort of middling all over. I think these get randomly rolled every time you start, because I, I think I loaded this up as a little test and I didn't have these exact same traits. I have quite a bit of a marshal going on, which is nice. I am zealous, so my liege is cynical. Um, temperate, wrathful, but humble. Almost pretty good. I like, you know, not necessarily the strongest character, but when you're starting off with, oh my god, is the sub alerter not working? Hold on, hold on. Shoot, I thought I had everything set up properly, but I missed that button. Who did I miss? PSN Gowder, thank you very much for subscribing and my deepest apologies for missing you. Love Fro as well. Kyrio Reyes? for subscribing as well, and I really deeply apologize if I missed any others. The pop-up will be up right now. And Anna Cephaly, I think, uh, subscribed literally just before I put the pop-up back on. Um, but it should be there now, crossing my fingers. We'll, uh, we'll take a look. But uh, that's a pretty funny name, actually. Anna Cephaly? Right? Because it's like a, a brain thing? Something like that. Anyway, um, our wife, Countess Reg... Regin Reginland of Argau. What are you? You are lowborn. You're Catholic. That's good. German. Excellent. We're German. Yeah. Yeah. And our, our king must be, or our Kaiser must be German. Good. Just making sure. Sometimes you get like different cultural shifts. It happens um, in these areas. You can end up with someone who's like Frank or something like that. But we're, we're all set up on Germanish. Germanish. -ish. We have one son, Otto who's six years old, which means he's ready to be educated. Actually, he's being educated right now by someone called Gerlach. There we go. There's the pop-up. Proper Wolfie. Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting the stream. Always appreciate that. Makes a big difference. And also, you get to be named, people. So yes, we will try to name our, um, our children when we have them based on subscribers. So hooray, you get an opportunity to be murdered by people. Um, so yeah, our son is being tutored by Gerlach, who is... My steward. He's got decent stats. Now, usually, I don't necessarily like to do that. It helps because, okay, anyone who's tutoring your kids gets a relationship boost with you, which is good. That being said, there's a lot of incentive to um, tutor kids yourself. That way, you can choose the outcome events, which is really good. Another option is we could send Otto over here to be tutored by the Kaiser, which would give us a relationship boost with him. And I'm quite tempted to do that. However, before I do that, I should go and arrange some marriage. In fact, I may want to arrange marriage for my daughter, Ida, as well. Has no stats yet. She's only two years old. But uh, we'll see what she develops. Um, we do have to pick a character focus and an ambition. So this is going to be the first time when we're going to actually get the uh, Twitch chat to give a suggestion over here. This is a new feature from the Way of Life. It replaces the uh, ambitions over here. You'll see there's no more ambitions here to improve things like diplomacy. Normally with a diplomacy below 8, we'd be able to choose that as an ambition. We cannot do that anymore. Instead, this is choose focus, which first of all, as soon as you pick it, it gives you a massive boost in a stat. So you can see here, both these stats here give me a boost to stewardship. Rulership just gives me plus three. Business only gives me plus two, but my city vassals like me 20% more, which is pretty goddamn strong. Additionally, there'll be events that trigger based on these focuses or these foci. Um, again, I haven't played the way of life, so I have no spoilers as to what is the best thing to min-max. Certainly there's a lot of people that are crying out for seduction, uh, which is a lot of fun. And as a Habsburg, Family certainly makes a lot of sense, too. Also, more diplomacy is extremely, extremely useful. Um, although intrigue can be pretty good, too. Our intrigue is pretty pathetic, though, so I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes. The one thing I will say, with both of these traits, which increase fertility, right now, we are in a uh, gavel kind law. It is the, the law of the HRE that... Um, oh, no, 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 right. The HRE itself is Ignatic Elective. But the laws of the county we're currently in is gavel kind. And if we do end up with a... Um, uh, with a, um, like a duchy and a kingdom, it'll probably still be Gavelkind, which means our kingdom can be split if we have too many kids. Um, people are saying they nerfed seduction already, because, yeah, I know there was some crazy seduction crap that was going on. Uh, learning, get abducted by aliens, theology, business, everyone's saying different things. Scholarship can give Lovecraftian events. That's really cool. Intrigue allows you to spy on individuals. Yeah! This right here, no. Some of these will open up specific doesn't tell me in the pop-up 
Ah, there it goes. So if I take Intrigue by itself, which gives me plus three Intrigue, which is pretty good, it unlocks the Spy On and Free From Captivity options. Seduction lets me seduce suitable targets. A hunting is, Martial is always good, and more health is always nice. War lets me duel people in addition to giving me more Martial, which, um, I don't know, could be handy. Here we can carouse. We can't get any special interactions with family, but we've got lots of good traits, including more health and fertility. Theology, learning, temple vassal opinion. Uh, scholarship plus three but again a lot of these will be events that we don't necessarily go hmm all right I'm gonna grab a, uh, a straw poll with for some of the more popular options over here and see exactly what people might be interested in uh, focus question mark uh, scholarship was pretty high up um, business a lot of people wanted um, intrigue seduction and because we're a Habsburg we got to include family in there I think those are the ones I saw the best. Uh, hunting, I'll put in hunting and what is this one? War, hunting and war as well. And multiple choice are gonna be allowed. Nittlery, 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 thank you very much for subscribing and clearly the, uh, the pop-up is working again. Boat, there. There's your straw poll. Got a message from Essentia. Oh, let me know about the sub alerts. Super behind the times. All right, vote on that straw poll, and we'll pick from there and move on. Now, while that's straw polling, we're going to talk about our actual strategy over here. We have a single county. Starting as a single count tends to be a little bit slow because um, you have kind of limited options in what you can do. We have no claims on anything. We have no titles. I think what we're going to do is we're going to deploy our council. And if we go, so if we go to our county and we hit de jour and we see that this county belongs in the Duchy of Upper Burgundy, which is a great duchy. The de jour duchy has six provinces in it. So I think our initial goal will be to see if we can... Hey, donation just came in. Warning, warp core collapse in Now, because it's the first donation of the day, it's automatically the biggest donation of the day. It's Careless Rex. Oh, who can't afford a subscription this month, so he donated... Oh, thank you very much. What he had instead, $2.50. You know, that's... You shouldn't have done that! That feels super bad. You can't you can't afford $5? Don't... Buy yourself some craft Dinner or something. If you know what craft Dinner is, I don't know where you are in the world. Careless Rex. Maybe you're Swedish? Because that's... I associate that as a Swedish-y kind of thing. Anyway, so I think my goal is going to be to grab the Duchy of Up in Burgundy. So, to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and fabricate claims on one of my neighbors, perhaps uh, Burgung over here. Um, does this fellow have any allies? He actually has quite a few. Burn, we always, we already kind of have a bit of an in on. What about this Neuchatel? You have no allies at all. That's tempting. You have two. And you are just a little boy, but you again have a couple allies, although some might not come, um, fight. So, I suppose it makes the most sense to fabricate a claim over here, because if we do declare war on them, they're never really going to be able to, um, um, they probably won't be able to fight me. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and fabricate there, which will be good. We're going to appoint our marshal to train troops and give us more of a levy, because if the war does break out, we need just slightly more troops. We'll collect some taxes in our capital as well. Um, I, my spy master, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I think what I'll try to do is improve religious relations in my current place. My vassal, I do have a bishop who actually likes me slightly more than the Pope, which is pretty amazing considering he likes the Pope 98. I want to keep that there because as long as he likes me more than the Pope, he will pay me instead of the Pope. And right now, every last golden ducat is going to be important. So we're going to improve religious relations there and just try to keep things pinned or even maybe hurt relations with the Pope, which I think is another thing we can do. Um, Quill pronouncing German counts sounds really funny. Listen, Germany people. Germanish people, um, Deutschlanders. I don't know how to say your words, so suck it up and deal. Um, so some people were saying scheme lets you discover plots more easily. I don't know if I'm too worried about being schemed on at this point. We could build a spy network somewhere, which allows us to plot more powerfully. What kind of plots might we have available? Nothing suitable. Okay, never mind. So I think what I'm going to do is the thing that we always do, especially at the start. I'm going to go ahead and send my spam, spy master to Constantinople. Bam. You know, because you can. Um, and I'm over there. All right, I think that's a decent start. Let's go ahead and take... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hat says, you didn't hear a quill pronouncing Polish counts. Polish counts would be the worst. Holy crap, this vote is very, very close. 
basically a split between family and seduction. I'm going to go ahead then. Family is slightly higher, and we are Habsburg. I'm going to go ahead and vote for family. That's going to be okay. It will increase our fertility, which means more kids, which might make Gavelkind a little bit difficult to deal with. But we'll get there when we get there. Our ambition, becoming King of Burgundy, maybe. Um, I would quite like it if maybe we could become Marshal for, um, for the Kaiser. We have great stats. We might be able to sneak in there. So we're going to have... Oh, we're going to have to... A go at that. Meanwhile, my son, let's see what kind of uh, marriage we might be able to arrange. Now, I could look specifically for someone, but I think we should be able to sort here and maybe sort by rank. I know, it's hard to tell. They won't really have any ranks. Uh, we can check based on big families. Gustavus Adolphus! Can't let myself be beat by the lesser seconds. Swedish king now, can I? Oh, Swedes. Man, your history is kick-ass. It's so interesting, the Swedish history. It's one of the reasons I really enjoyed my uh, my Swedish playthrough, actually. While, of course, we took a very different direction. It was pretty awesome. Um, what's this? Holds claims to these titles. Oh! And uh, Sansa over here. Might be a stark thing to do. Catalan, where are you? It's time. We maybe... Should, so, do we just grab someone with, like, a crown? What do people think? Courture in Bourgogne has claims on on Burgundy. Now, you're 31, which means by the time the marriage will go, because I'm 6, it'll be 10 years, it'll be 41. No, that's not enough babies. Baloney. Yeah, we need to... Um, Twenty-one can work. Seventeen wouldn't be bad. You'd be twenty-seven. You don't particularly like me. Where's this? This is in Schwaben. Schwaben sounds Germanish. Maybe we'll marry her. I think we're gonna do that one. We could search for genius. See, here's the thing. Always the thing with bloodlines. Do you marry for alliances? Do you marry for um, genetic traits like genius, or do you marry for? Um, claims and titles and stuff like that. And I think I like the idea of this. She may not be able to inherit anything. Um, she's shy, charitable, zealous, kind. I mean, they're fine traits. I think we're going to go this way. Oh, a lot of people want me to go for a genius. I gotta expand, and we expand my marriage. I mean, we're, we're Habsburgs. What is this? Wow, that's a lot of places. Quite far away, though. Genome program. Do we start with the genome program right away? Yo, we got a creeper going off <laughs> from Carl the Seventh Gustav. Bow down, peasant kings. <laughs> um, all right, you know what? First generation, fine. We've got some expansion plans already. We're gonna be okay. Let's search everyone. Um, you put in genius now here, right? Oh, God, that is such a good um, thing. We want women, uh, not in prison, not married. Oh, this is everyone we got who's a genius. And uh, the religion might be a slight problem, but we actually have a Catholic here. 16-year-old Catholic genius from Galicia. All right, everyone keeps... She's a glutton, which is too bad. She's chaste. Hmm. Buddhist. We've got another Catholic over here. 16 years old, genius, cruel, ambitious... Ambitious is not bad if it's someone who's your actual heir. Now, if I was marrying off a second son to an ambitious wife, that would be bad. But this might be okay. Yeah, she's German. She's German Catholic genius. All right. Um, arrange betrothal between yourself and my son. We are going to... Oh, no, really? Otto's too young. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Of course it's too young. It's a betrothal. Would that be the same case up here? Eh. Uh. Oh. Oh, we got another explosion. Okay, this one's going to go. Warning. Cross! Cross! Oh, the Danes! Cannot... A Dane like me cannot be overrun by the Swedish scum. <laughs> um, we do lose the prestige, but we do get the genius thing. I guess we're gonna do it. Boom! 
Oh, I could have invited her to the court. I wonder if I could... A little late now. She wouldn't have joined in anyway. So, never mind. Maybe with a bribe or this or that or whatever. All right, we're going to have our kid um, betrothed to a genius. My daughter, um, arrange betrothal. These are all people within my court, so it'd be nice to find a character. I wonder, the my heir, or my, my liege, she's probably too young to have a kid yet. It would be nice to marry my daughter to one of his kids, um, or something of that nature. Does he have a brother? No, only female siblings. Hey, what? Let's hold off on our daughter. We're not gonna, we're not gonna marry her off quite yet. I'm gonna wait for the uh, betrothal to go in. We're actually gonna unpause now, finally. And wait for the betrothal to kick in. Whoa! So the HRE, we've just declared war on... Who exactly? Discard this message. Over France. We're at war with France right now. Warning. Okay. Warp core collapsed in 10 seconds. <laughs> now we're getting... Now we're getting curse words. Alanith is a new Swedish scum. So we've got... Warp core in 10 seconds. I don't know where you're from. Kicked your ass at... Karlov? Viva la Bohemia. Viva la Bohème. Huh? I don't know. Uh, I, I, does that mean you're German? I don't know. All right. Otto, do we educate him at my liege? How come that's not an option? Oh, right. I have to um, talk to my liege and say, educate child. Um, my kid and you educate him. We'd get a big boost. Right now we're negative, which I don't like. It will piss off uh, Gerlach, but it will improve Kaiser's opinion of us. And I think I'm willing to do that. We might not get good traits, I have no idea, but we've already got him betrothed to a genius, so we're gonna have to cross our fingers. Meanwhile, my liege, assuming he accepts, and we don't have to participate in the war against France. Some of our vassals have been raised, or some of our levies have been raised for our king, but other than that, we don't have to really worry about it. Excellent. Now we're at plus 18, so we're getting there. Entrusted Ward, plus 20. Drake the Dragon. We kicked the Danes out once. We can do it again. Love England. And Peter, the first of Russia, says, Poltava, never forget. See, that's what I like about Europeans. That's that's where all the history is. For Canada, it's like, that I tell you about the Great Beaver War of Ought 5. All we can talk about is the War of 1812, where we burned the White House down. Canada didn't even exist then. Technically, it was a war between uh, um, the United Kingdom and the United States. But we were Canada-ish at the time. And technically, it's not the war. Famously, people say it's a war that no one won. Um, England, which at the time, I believe, was fighting uh, France, was just happy that it didn't you know, really lose anything significant while also fighting off Napoleon or something like that. The US were, you know, it was a victory for them because they were able to fight a conflict against this giant world power and hold their own, which is pretty good. Canadians, meanwhile, go for the Australian Austrian inheritance. Well, we'll work on it. Um, Canadians that actually helped to solidify our identity as a nation and meant that we felt secure against these like villainous Americans to the south. Warning. And then you had the Native Americans who just got completely bowed. Sight says Holstein and Wolf is Bronson in the regards to the drowned Danish aristocracy. Yeah, I know that's a big thing over there. I actually thought about playing as uh, Denmark. And then Willem says, if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Oh, we get the rhymes going on. Drop the beats. So I don't think there's a lot for us to do right now. Um, we can borrow. We're not going to do that. We'll probably... Yeah, this is the one I want, is demand duchy from Liege. We, what we need to do is... Um, we need him. If We need him to create the duchy of Upper Burgundy. At which point, we'll be... We'll be, wow. Warning. Uh, Warp complete thought first. We'll be able seconds. to ask the liege for this, assuming our opinion is good. And right now he's happy. Oh, we could send some bribes out. So Belgium, I, I don't know. What's a Belgium, you guys? I've never heard of this. Belgium? Mm, doesn't doesn't ring a bell. But apparently is still the best, according to Tom. Remove kebab. I like kebabs, though. Like on a stick, right? Maybe wrapped in like a, a pita or something like that. Just delicious. Ooh, big battle going on here. 
Uh, looks like France brought a few more troops, but oh, there we go. The army of Diet Pool from the HRE is going to come and reinforce. We'll kick those Frenchies' asses. You know, after playing the uh, the big EU4 Sweden campaign, where we're friends with France the whole time, it's nice to be on the other side. Ah, collected a tithe. Excellent. A little bit of extra dough. I don't mind that one bit. I'd still like to become Marshal. I don't suppose I can ask for that, huh? No, I think I might be able to ask for it from here at some point, but it's not the case. Oh, the Summer Fair. Uh, the Summer Fair is not critical. Beasts are good. Can I not hunt? Why is it not in the list? I'm used to it always being in the list, just not... Can you only hunt if hunting is a desire now? Is that possible, you guys? Remove kebab equals eat kebab. See, I can totally support eating kebabs. Kebabs are delicious. We got a new Pope. That's one of the other things we can do is... I have no idea. I haven't really played CK too much since they put in the new sort of cardinal system. Uh, I like that this bishop likes me so much. Do I, I apparently have free appointments, so I can appoint a successor. Which theoretically should be someone who likes me very much, but I don't know. Cardinal appointment score. You know, maybe th maybe there's something I can be doing to manipulate things. I don't know. Um, my vassals, though. I think they both like me a fair bit. Um, Mayor Leopold over here. We're going to give him an honorary title. Warning. Whoa! Warp core collapse in 10 seconds. Oh, I feel so bad. We're missing some stuff here. Uh... Doogie says Scotland will not be outdone by the Scandinavian region. What's funny is that Scotland sort of wants to consider itself... Are you fucking kidding me? A, a Nordic country, right? There's some people with the independence thing who are saying, Ah, oh, Scotland belongs in sort of a league of Nordic countries. We're going to address this in a goddamn second. Arr! Arr! And then young boy Jimmy says Norway for the win. Short little message, right to the point. Followed just after by Combat Zerg, who unfortunately missed the, the top spot explosion sounds. I feel bad. But uh, Combat Zerg says, kneel before your Norwegian overlords. Has Norway ever been uh, an overlord of anything other than, like, Iceland? Norway burn. So, apparently, we are freaking incapable now. So, because of RNG, I've been appointed as your regent. My wife is now the regent. Because of random number-generated bullshit in battle... I'm now completely host. Now this might be a good time to just go and uh, and and race, rage quit and restart. But no, we're gonna keep going. We set up some marriages. Things are happening. Obviously, Count Warner's never gonna get anything done in this world. It's all gonna be about Otto. So we're just gonna we're fast forward, man. Maybe we'll get a claim. We might even be able to declare some war. Um, ah, the bishop likes uh, likes the pope slightly less. <laughs> Still pretty damn close. We're getting some money. We're accumulating money. We're just gonna sit tight, you guys. Whittle our thumbs. I yeah, we're not. We have no ambitions and no focus anymore. I guess we're not gonna be, become the uh, the marshal for the Kaiser. We'll never put yourself in battles. No, you gotta put yourself in battles. Come on. Yeah, I know it's an unnecessary risk, uh, and I could have moved myself out of the army. But my 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 king, my lord called me to do battle against the vile Franks. I couldn't say no. I mean, come on. Of course I had to lead the army. Sometimes you get good traits, too. I was, I'm not a coward. I'm not much of anything anymore. <laughs> but I'm not a coward. Say this about Count Werner. He was not a coward. <laughs> How old is he? 43. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, with being incapable, he does get a massive health debuff. So he's very likely to die young. Free runner! Warning. Rule Britannia! Warning. Rule Warning. the waves! Warning. Britons Warning. will never be slaves! Britons, aren't they from here? Brittany, right? Am I wrong? Yes, yes, yes. Great Britain. Uh... You set up an anti-pope? What's going on in this game? I've never... Wow! Okay, my lord... The Kaiser, who's now 19, has set up an anti-pope in Würzburg. What's going on? That's Breton's quilt. Brit yes, I know Britannia is the empire. You know, Great Britain. I, I know that. Trolls will be trolls. Um, you know what's really good? Breton crackers. I don't know if you guys have that where you have. They're like round, like, I don't know, brown, weedy sort of crackers, something like that. Um, okay, freaking anti-pope. 
And someone's running a, a revolt in the HRE. What does this mean? How, what is the anti- Oh, so these are the anti-popes here. Lately, I've become afraid that someone might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring, uh, no, two food tasters. And maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea? Listen, I would be so happy right now if someone were to kill me off. Yes, we'd be playing as a child. <laughs> but I'd be okay with that. Um, we go for trusting and just lower our intrigue? I think I am, actually. <laughs> No, everything's fine. I'm too stupid to think about threats to my authority. Do, 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 do. Check out the recipe for Breton butter biscuits. I mean, anything that's got the word butter in it is gotta be goddamn good. Da, 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 da. Oh, Rule Britannia. Uh, one of the shows that I, I like, and I actually just rewatched some of it, is uh, the Supersizers show. Like, the Supersizers. I, I know that title's like for two different shows. I'm talking about the one with uh, Sue Perkins and the dude. And they go and like eat food from different periods. So like Victorian era, um, the Edwardian era, uh, during like World War II sort of um, that thing. Fantastic show. And I, I just feel like that's the sort of thing. Like that's again, Canadians don't get to do that kind of stuff because we don't have that kind of history. That That's kind of interesting to think about. So I gotta live through it um, vicariously through t British TV shows from the BBC and uh, games like CK2 and EU4. All of ERP has the good stuff. Well, if you designate a region, I didn't designate it, but I have a region. It's my wife. It was auto designated. Maybe I could have changed that. Oh, my wife is. F my wife. Hold. Whoa, whoa. My wife is my spy master? Can't dismiss your region from office. Yeah, but I don't want her to be in Constantinople because she's going to get herself deceased. So I guess we will try to just discover plots in our capital. And I'm also going to turn on the uh, auto stop plots button. I'm assuming I can't. I could run a summer fair. No point in doing that. <laughs> uh, Dystia Bronx says, Yeah, Sensha, go tell Quill what to do since you're his regent. That's right. My wife's my regent. Meanwhile, um... But this is in the Second War. We have basically won the war against France. Unfortunately, my lieges had to recall our armies back home to fight against some uh, some rebellions. What's the revolt for? What are they looking for? Independence. They just want to split off from the HRE. And I got nothing to do here but to sit and drool. Aww. Fast forward. This is fine. I mean, obviously, you know, this puts a, a delay in, you know, conquering the world kind of stuff. But, you know, that's life. Uh, hold on. Something about my debuff. That way. Borrow... Borrow the 300 and then get the 200? That way your son won't get the debuff. If... I don't know what you mean by the 200. If we do borrow the money from the Jewish merchants... My son will still have... Oh, oh, oh! Are you saying borrow it and then expel them? And then my son won't get the debuff? Do you get the debuff and not your sons? Really? Will that work? It doesn't carry over? Well, listen, I'm going to listen to Twitch chat. Obviously, they know what to do. And I mean, I'm just a drooling idiot here. So what can I do? How do we... Is banishing the Jews not in the list? All right, I bought the thing. Money is disappearing from the treasury. I suspect my regent count... You know, <laughs> there's no proof. Listen, my wife can steal the money if she wants. What, what the hell am I going to do? Is it possible that I can't expel the Jews because I'm only a count? I think that might be true. Uh, Alex, Alex just, I, I read it as Alex just subscribed. Well, Alex, thank you for just subscribing. I appreciate that. Is it possible because it's not my country that I can't expel a Jew? I mean, it's always a mean thing to do anyway. Capable, humble, I owe the money, so my, my vassals don't like me as much. Although they still like me more than the Pope, which is good. We're at war with a bunch of people. Look, there are more wars breaking out. Not that we have anything to do with it. There's just more and more uprisings. I'm just going to sit here and drool some more, you guys. Top ruler can expel, not independent. Yeah. And yeah, I, I was pretty sure. Expelling the Jews gives you bad ex events forever. Like, I'm pretty sure I've been there. But the chat told me to do it. So I had to do it, you guys. I always end up, uh, like, unexpelling them later on. 
So taking out the loan is really well. It's not hurting me right now because the vassal opinion is, is not a problem. Um, peasants from the local countryside, I can lose just. Okay, don't have already. Maybe it's already gone away, or we can spend some money for card. No, no, local revolt risk. Pfft. If we are worried about the revolt risk here, let me pause real quick. We do technically have a little, and I don't want a local revolt. So I'm just going to temporarily switch my um, my marshal over to suppress rules for a little while. Chat is omnipotent. Of course, the chat can make me do freaky things. You know, again, the idea here is we're not necessarily going to end up with an optimal play. We're going to end up with an awesome play. So the fact that my liege likes me or not doesn't really matter. Um, can I educate my child? I say it wouldn't make much sense. Maybe my wife? We get a super espionage girl and then foist her off on someone where she can cause chaos. Especially in a matrilinear marriage so that her children are still in my bloodline. We could do something like that. You know, English invaders. Really? We've got filthy English invaders in, in the Holy Roman Empire? Lesson one, drooling. Let my wife teach her. Wouldn't be fine. Could possibly go on. Oh, yeah! Well, listen, um, Kaiser, I'd love to help, but uh, I took one too many hits to the head. And now it's not going to work out so much. Oh, I'm dead! Yay! The Count is dead, long live the Count. Died at age 45, comatose in bed, long live Count Otto. Okay! <clears throat> now we can get some shit done. Uh, Heinrich, who's apparently the ill ruler, well, no shit. He, how many wars is he in? God. Is, uh, is still my guardian, which is good. What are my final traits? Kind, patient, brave. Brave is very good. Very, very good. Overall, my stats are a little bit low, but of course, I'm only 10. I haven't uh, gotten my proper title yet. My vassals are fine with me. Did I ever give you an honorary title? No, I never got around to doing that. Tell you what, you're going to be the master of the hunt. Congratulations, buddy. Um, My mother is going to be my regent, which seems totally fine. She has every incentive in the world to keep me nice and protected. Using her, her high level of intrigue and whatnot. I'm betrothed to Costanza, who apparently has, I don't know, maybe some sort of like tooth infection, so she's got to wear that around her head. She's 19, will be married in six years to a genius and pop out lots and lots of babies that are geniuses. Genii. Rip Heinrich. He's beloved by his root. Wait. Heinrich isn't dead yet. No, Heinrich is fine. Yeah, rip in peace, that's right. Rip in peace. Type in your PIN number. All that kind of stuff. Well, I so need, see no reason to change what we are currently doing. We're going to fabricate some claims over there. Do we still... Oh, we no longer have an ally with Burn, though. We're married to my aunt, but that doesn't um, persist our alliances, which is a little upsetting. You have no allies either. How good is my Chancellor? Only an 8. Do we have anyone better? No. Mm. Yeah, so his chance every year of actually flipping this is pretty poor. Three, roughly 3.5% three per year, so that's a long wait time. Natty says, chat knows best, but mother knows what's really best. That's true. Also missed a donation from Gouter. You love Star Control 2 slash Urquan Masters. Yes, I have uh, fiddled with it before, and it is quite, quite good. I still have no personal claims or anything like that. <laughs> Press F to pay respects, yeah. What game was that? Was that a Call of Duty game? Or Battlefield? Something like that. It's like, oh my god, it's such shit. So England is besieging Haynut. We've got this army here looking for independence in the south. Things are not well in the HRE. Oh, if only Werner had survived to uh, be influential. But twas not to be. Some people get upset by my honest opinions. Yes, you look fat. You have a big nose. It's just the truth. I gain the honest trait. Which improves my diplomacy, which is good. Hurts my intrigue, which is bad. That being said, high diplomacy is extremely valuable. 
I can't complain too much. And unfortunately, I have no ability to choose um, these uh, these traits. Oh. And then suddenly I'm deceitful. I'm thinking that the Kaiser chose a different outcome. Instead of allowing me to be honest, he encouraged me to become deceitful. Okay. That's fine. We'll make do one way or another. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. There we go. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we can trim the Fs in the chat, that would be fine. Just keep the noise level down to a dull roar. I need your help, after all. <laughs> I need to know what's going on. I wonder if there's any factions. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want... Oh, I can't even start a faction, probably, because I'm a kid. Um, it might be a good idea if we could push a change to, um, uh, like, primogeniture laws, for example. Although that would need higher crown authority, which is not good. Because that would tie our hands a little bit. I think we're just going to have to suck up the uh, gavel kind for a while. Um, if we become like the King of Burgundy, we might be able to change our rules there. But in any case, as long as we only have one upper title, it's okay. The problem is if you have multiple sons and you have, say, two counties, then when you die, your primary county stays with your heir, your secondary county goes to, well, what is now your brother. Um, but if you form a duchy and you just have one duchy tile, then at least you'll still have the duchy and then all the land beneath it, which is good. And same thing with the kingdom. And ultimately, that's what I want to be right now, is the uh, the king of Burgundy, which would be really nice. Now, since we have a new young heir, because our last dude started, what, 41? 41, that's a big ask to become a king from a count in, in one age, starting from 41, especially since I don't really know all the tricks involved. Let's go ahead and fast forward and try to age up. Ah, the title of Upper Burgundy has been created, which is nice. We will definitely look into asking for that. Hopefully my liege, my liege likes me okay. We'll try to do, I wonder if I can um, ask my liege to train my sister, actually. That would be, pause. Can you... Or what if you educated me? Hold on. Oh, you're already educating me. So... It's my opinion of him, I think. If my sister over here... will upset my mother a little bit. Oh, no, you're full, so you can't. Right. Okay, that's fine. Bending versus foreigners... Surprise, though. My guardian. How come he doesn't like me more? This is Scotty just subscribed. Well, this is Scotty. Thank you very much for subscribing. As we're getting our ass kicked by the French. And really everyone. We had that war against the French won. Okay, looks like he's gone and reassembled a pretty big army, though. So that's good. What's my rebellion risk looking like? Um, I mean, it says zero right now because I have my marshal. Okay, the, um, the peasant problem has gone away so I can go back to uh, training troops actually you know what let's go to research military tech that's going to be fine if we do decide to declare war on uh, Neuchatel Neuk maybe it's a is it a hard k or is it a ch I don't know um, then we'll probably flip back you're imprisoned seriously all right cool that'll make things easier Something about the quill. What? The cook accused me of stealing cookies. The spy master insisted I had stolen his quill, and I was accused of making a lot of mischief. For once, I was innocent. I found the perpetrator playing with the quill and stuffing his face with the cookies just outside the stable. Tell them you stole the cookies and the quill. Me and Bruno would become bitter rivals. Oh, cool. I don't have a rival yet. I'm excited about this. You are what? You're nothing. Your parent has a couple of claims on some duchies, but you're kind of irrelevant. Or we can wreak havoc together. We would become Princess Edelhide and I would become close friends. What? Wait, who? You have a daughter. I should break off my betrothal and marry her. Okay. Mischievous planning makes them friends. Let's do that. Guys, 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 guys. Rolo can be broken any time. Why can't I do it right now, though? Ah. Guys, 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 guys. We have to, right? Hold on. Let, let's do a straw poll. It's very important. 
I don't know if it'll work out. For all I know, we will not be able to successfully betroth to the daughter. But, um... Uh... Marriage? Stay with Genius. Or... Break... Betrothal... Try the Princess. Create poll. This is... This is important. They're both, like, kind of valid. Oh. Oh, right away, yeah. Break the betrothal, try to marry the princess. If we can marry the princess of the HRE. So, it'll piss off someone. Let time pass a little bit. Um, there he goes. Okay. You. My friend. I would like to arrange a betrothal between myself and my friend. No, I figured it wouldn't happen. Prestige effects, all that. I, I figured that was a, a good, good chance. Uh, but it was worth considering. Oh, I have a rival already. So, I think if I was a duke, it would make it more likely. What about a second daughter? Do you have more than one? What about Princess Cecily? No. Alright. Well, I don't want Matrilinear. And he's not going to be willing to accept it anyway. All right, we're gonna. I'm not gonna betroth to anyone right now. I'm gonna wait until I turn 16 and see if I can insta marry anyone and start popping out the babies, or maybe something will change. Who knows? When I'm 16, I might be able to ask for the duchy. Check the check. No! First of all, people keep spamming that, or maybe one person keeps spamming that. Checking the matrilinear checkbox? A, I want Van Habsburg or Von Habsburg's children, not whatever the hell this guy is, Salian. And he wouldn't do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. We're going to wait until we uh, maybe come of age. We've got lots of money. Of course, we still have an outstanding loan. But it's not actually affecting us very much. The negative 10 from uh, Temple Vassals, not an issue. We're getting our tax money, which is good. Duchy of Tyrol. Hey, there's a gold mine there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, here's a question. So is this the first in line? Edelhide. Um, family. Yeah, Edelhide is first in line. If she doesn't get betrothed, we might just be able to seduce her. She's already my friend. We have a good relationship. So we'll see how it goes. We can swing something like that, that would be sick. Conrad and my friend had a great time together. Excellent. Gain some prestige. Prestige is very handy. For every 100 points of prestige, you get a plus one across the board uh, reputation boost with everyone. If I recall correctly. Finally! We have ourselves a claim on Neuchatel. So we will use it. Can I declare war right now? I'm in a regency. I'm like, hold on, U4, yada yada yada. Yes, okay. So let's compare some stats here. You, buddy, still have zero allies. I have zero allies as well. I should move my marshal to train troops to increase our numbers a little. May tick forward a little bit. Um. So if I click on my realm tree, no. Yeah, realm tree. And find myself? Oh, right click. I want to find out how many troops I can get. This is me. I can get 
1100. And if I click on this guy, your actual name, buddy? Bertrand. A lot easier when you're uh, doing the top level dudes. Bertrand over here. So he gets less. I also have a crap ton of money, which means I can throw in a few mercs if I need to. Yeah, just to pat it out. All right, let's declare war on my claim. Do that. We'll go ahead and raise all my levies. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just pat it out with just like an extra thousand troops or something. Right over here. Oh, this guy's technically in jail. I don't know if it makes a difference. The Bulgarian band. Just to make sure I can absolutely smash these guys right from day one. I'm going to let the morale tick up a little bit. Now I have to be careful because there are some enemy troops that are buzzing around from other wars that are going on. The war! Jacko Boom wants to be the Duke of Burgundy and Cognac. You know, one of my favorite recipes to make is beef burgundy. Come on. Pick up. Become morale. We're mostly waiting for the uh, the Merc band to become morale. Alright, I think that's going to be good enough. I mean, we have more than two to one numbers. We'll have very similar morale. Decent leader in the middle, Marco over here. Who's the leader of the Bulgarian band. Now, we are fighting in what kind of terrain? The mountains. Which ain't good, but we have massive, massive numbers on our side. There we go, they've been squashed, and they don't have enough defenders. I don't have to worry about keeping my mercs around. Probably? Actually, I say that, and it's possible that without the mercs... Oh, yeah. And we have lots of troops left over. Oh no, there's more Bulgarian... Wait, since when are the mercs split up into multiple little groups? That's new. So I'd have a thousand people, which would technically be enough to maintain the siege. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until we get the first level done at least. Dark help! Thank you very much for um for subscribing. Now I'm gonna keep the mercs around a little bit longer, just to make sure that nothing stupid happens. We've had too much stupid stuff. Because if we get an event and we lose a few dudes, there's some attrition or this or that, or the defender count goes up, or any sort of nonsense happens, maybe one of these enemy groups comes and just wanders in here with their, like, you know, a thousand units or something, we're going to play it super safe. The other thing I can do is move there and fabricate claims in Burgundy. Or did we have a marriage or something going on there? I don't think so. Well, you can see the troops in the character tooltip. What character tooltip? I mean, there's troops here, obviously. The good burgers are barely able to pay our taxes. I can piss off my burger, or we get minimal city taxes. I know, an absurd request. We got a boom! Oh, from uh, Merlars. Oh, yes, who sent me a gift of cities XXL. Unfortunately, I'm already lined up with uh, cities XXL. Um, title I'm definitely interested in taking a look at, at least to see if there's any uh, differences between the previous versions of XL. Merlaz had gifted me one, but I already had it, so hopefully you can find uh, someone else to give it to. I really appreciate the thought, though. Obviously, city building games are definitely something I'm looking to cover. Uh, very excited to take a look at City Skylines as well, which I'll be looking at uh, hands-on at uh, the Paradox Press event in February, and then uh, hopefully be getting my hands on a code not long after that. I think the game's due to come out... What, is it still Q1 2015? Like, I don't remember if they've announced anything. For some reason I got it in my head that like, oh, maybe it'll be out in like March or something. I don't know anything that you guys don't know in terms of the game though, so... I'll take my words as gospel. The character sheet... So, okay, so if I say, if I clicked on him... So there's no pop up there. Well, that's not the character sheet. This is the character sheet. Oh! Oh, that is super handy! 
Okay, yes, that is new and such a time saver. Thank you very much. I didn't even have to ask for it! The Kaiser just gave me, he's like, okay, you're a duke now. Well then what the hell am I doing warring here? I don't have to war here, I probably could have just asked for the thing. Kaiser, you're the best! Also, now that I'm a duke, I don't suppose you'd let me marry your eldest daughter. No. It's closer, though. It's so much closer. Maybe if we got his opinion of us higher. Could we... I don't think there's anything we can really do. Your second daughter? No. Oh god! This is so good! Alright, well, we'll unpause, we'll finish the siege. We'll ask for some more territory over here. Uh, can I start on that right away? Can I say, listen, um... You're- oh! You automatically became below me. Okay. Below me. What about you? No, you're in Lombardia, but you're technically part of my land. Okay, let's take a look at our duchy title. So, right now we have this, but technically, so all this territory is properly under us, which is nice. These two should be, they're part of their du jour. So this province here, you answer to uh, Rudolf of Swabia. Um, so really, we want to talk to this dude. Can I say transfer vassalage? No, this is something transferring to. I can't... I want to tell him All right, we have army levies. I bet you we can declare war for these lands. Meanwhile, this war ended. Right. Because what am I going to war for? Well, I could because it's not Okay, hold on. This is getting weird. So they listen to me, which is good. I still only have one county. But that's all right. Is there anything I can tell you? You're in prison. I, I'm assuming I can't revoke your title without pissing anyone off. It would piss off all my vassals. Oh, uh, no, wait, hold on. It will piss him off. Since I have a claim on it, my vassals will not object. Really? I don't have the prestige. And, oh, there's not enough crown authority. So that's life. We don't have a prisoner or anything, do we? No. Founding a new kingdom would be fun, but we're not there yet. I think we're just going to drop our armies down. Got nothing to do right now. Not that I'm complaining. So we don't need you here. And I don't need to fabricate claims here, because I've got legit cause for war over here. Um, here's a question. Let's go to the map mode. That shows, well, that's the jour duchies. I would like to know what the actual duchies are. Like, here... There's a Duke of Swabia. Here, there's... Ah, the Kaiser. So... No, oh, this is all a duchy. You're, you're the Duke. The duck, I says. This guy, this is a Prince Bishop. He answers directly to the Kaiser. So I could fabricate a claim here. Which seems like the thing to do. Can I not move you? Did I just move the Chancellor? Yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. So I think uh, Valais over here, which is probably not how you say it. I don't know. How Frenchy is this area? Check direct vassal map. Um... I know the custom... Family Trade Zone, Republic... Oh, Direct Vassals, there it is. Which shows me... What that's useful. How do I parse this map?
That's just Matilda. What if I just married her? Yeah, well, she wants a matrilinear marriage. Understandably. Mephista says, uh, Belgium, most important country in the game. I don't know where that is. Belgium? Never heard of it. Yeah, this region is more Swiss French. That really makes sense. Is my shit being sieged here? Now, see, I can't allow that. I shouldn't. I should have kept my troops around. I'm gonna kick some ass over here. We don't have. We we have mostly full morale. Uh, the biggest part of our army has full morale, so I'm confident in in. Oh, although we are gonna go into the mountains. They're both to be reinforced, though. Oh my. Uh, wait. Army of Duke Otto II. That's not me, is it? No, I can't. I'm clearly not leading an army. Let's go and assist. Because we can. Just to say that we participated. Or the battle will be over before we get there. That happens too. I'm going to try to chase them down, though. Or not. Oh, this is mostly light cab, I think, so they're going pretty fast. Might not be able to catch him. Oh, we caught him there. Here, we'll get a little prestige. We are mostly losing our wars here, which is not good. We captured Duke Pierre of Savoy. Right, so Savoy, which is here. Interesting. Maybe that's where we fabricate claims. It's a whole duchy. I mean, we might be lucky enough to fabricate on the duchy. He's kind of shit, though. Uh, not improve. Then, seriously, because no, okay, there we go. Fabricate claims. Yeah, we could go south instead. That's fine. Let's get some claims down there. Meanwhile, prisoner over here. How much can we ransom you for? 145 gold. I think that's probably worth doing. I'm not sure if it'll auto-release the prisoner when um, when we're at peace. It needs to be approved by my mother. My mother's not interested in me marrying this girl. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just ransom for now. He actually likes me quite a bit, which is interesting. How old am I? 14. Almost going to be independent. I actually don't have enough shit to siege his shit. Wow. Alright, just go home then. I'm going to friendly territory and then disband the army. Like so. Who are the people who put mayo on their fries instead of ketchup? Lots of people. Everyone who's smart. Actually, it's less about an instead of, and it's more about in addition to. Mayo plus ketchup is amazing. Summons usurping some uh, duchy titles, which is fine. Doesn't affect me much. Oh, if only my liege. Needs to be My mother won't approve of any of this. You won't approve me marrying... What? Mom! But mom... All right, we'll see what happens when I turn 16 and I get to do my own shit. I think we might put um, some sort of focus on pro-diplomacy. Because I think having more diplomacy right now would actually be supremely useful. Unless seducing the, the daughter of the Kaiser. I don't know if seduction will help us or not. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll help us pop out a little bastard kid that has a claim on the entire kingdom. The problem is... Whoa! More royal islands going on down here. Tuscany. Look at that. Um... Of course, we can't war with the, the Kaiser. We're not big enough to be able to pull anything like that off. We could try to seduce, like, the daughter of the uh, Duke of Savoy. Of course, she's not the heir. But there'd be some claims. Like, the, the amazing thing with the, the Kaiser over here is he has no boy sons whatsoever right now. So right now, she is the heir. That won't last forever. Anything on fries is a big no. No, 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 no. Malt vinegar is good on fries. Of course, cheese, curds, and gravy. Allows you to make poutine. It's wonderful. 
But mom, I want to marry the princess. That's right, Orange Halo. It's exactly like that. Good imitation. I can press claims. So, I don't think on him. I think it would be on the duck. The duck, I says. So, take a look. You've got three allies. A count and a baron, none of which are relevant. And you can raise 3.5k troops. I can only raise 1.7. I do have some pretty serious bank. But... I mean, obviously, I can't get these guys. These guys I can't keep around for very long. If I spent about half my treasury, I could get enough money, or enough troops to basically equal their stuff. But that's not really enough, is it? What I need to do is marry someone so that I've got an ally who will join me in this war. So, I think what we'll do is wait until we're 16, marry someone, I mean, if we can get the Kaiser, that would be great. It seems unlikely. <laughs> salt is great on fries. I mean, having fries without any salt would be terrible. Also, lots of pepper is quite nice as well. But yeah, if we can keep uh, increasing our money. The other problem is we don't we don't control any land directly. Hey, we gained the just trait, which means my vassals like me more, which is good, uh, because they might be able to send more troops in my direction. Um, trying to think the way we can increase our count. Well, we're already up to 2,000. Partially, that's our levies uh, regenerating, which is good, but also having my vassals like me more will throw more stuff in my direction. All right, we got that claim there. And the air. What's the uh, third in line for the county? And he's got some extended family. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong with plain fries and tomato ketchup? Fine, too. That's the joy of, of fries, is that they're just really good with a lot of things. So, you know, you mix it up a bit. Our war at the Kingdom of Poland. So, Savoy, are you not at war anymore? You are independent. Do I have any CB against you? I do not. I'm happy I'm fabricating claims. Hmm. The other thing I could do is I could search everyone in the entire world. Um, mostly dudes. Ugh, my region is stealing money again. We're not in prison. Uh, Mary doesn't matter. Can't be a ruler. And should ideally be in my religion group say, my culture group, just to encourage them to like me. Find people with really high diplomacy. He's already a Chancellor Chancellor. You are not a Chancellor, though, Mr. Werner. I don't suppose you'd be interested in coming to my kingdom. No, no reason to move. Well, the reason is, I would give you a job. Merlors! Thank you very much for subscribing! Always fun to have a bigger family. We need to start making babies so we can start naming them after subscribers. Uh, you're just a child, so that doesn't work. Cancel. Go. Um, you're a chancellor. You are just a courtier. Yeah, okay, it might be hard. But you can do that sort of thing sometimes and invite people to your court. Do we have any claimants to the title of the Duchy of Savoy who would come? And some of them would indeed do that. Hey! Hey, Dros! Once again with the Swedish spam. Sweden shall not kneel for anyone. Thank you very much for the, uh, the tip. The donation. There we go. We can invite you to the court. The Kaiser actually has a claim on this count on this uh, this duchy, which is interesting. What about this duchy? We've got some claimants. Anyone who would come join me? If anything, I just want a bigger court, so that's okay. You know, Upper Burgundy, that's mine. Upper Lorraine. No, sometimes with bribes. Oh, there we go. You would uh, come to my court. Let me just go around. I'm not even necessarily intending to press any of their claims. Jack Cologne, no. What about the Duchy? No. Here. Gelra, no. The Duchy, no. Just make the rounds. I wish there was a slightly easier way to find. You know, show me all claimants 
Show me everyone who would be willing to join the court, and then just, like, mass invite them. Oh. Ah, there we go. Herman. We join in. There we are. So, how's our overall forces looking? 2.1. And here, do the count. You get 4.4. Yeah, so doubling my troop size, but we might be able to do something about that soon enough. Marry off your sister. Is she not betrothed anyone? No. Now I can arrange a betrothal. And that would be a good idea. We can betroth you to the king of Poland. Now, of course, we're not going to get any sort of um, matrilinear marriage over there. I don't suppose we can get a matrilinear marriage. No, there's no way. With the Duke of Brandenburg, that would have been kind of swanky. We could probably do it with some uh, duchies. I think it's fine if we don't do a matrilinear marriage with, um, with Ida over here. But if we marry her to the King of Poland, we'll have Poland as an ally. And that's probably pretty good. Where's Poland? Right there. I mean, I know where Poland is in the real world, but I didn't know how big they were here. And these could definitely reinforce us. Now, this will only be an alliance once we get married. Yes, I know the matrilinear button, Mary. Like, people keep saying, push the button! You push it, you can't get married to these people, because they don't want a matrilinear one because of um, of their position. I guess, oh right, that's that's true. That's what I could do, is I could go, um, I could go to my sister, and here, and then there, and see who might be willing to do it. That, that's a good point. Thank you very much for that reminder. Uh, the Prince of Scotland. Now, I assume this is not the one who's first in line. He's also got hair lip, so bad genes. Elfwind Prince of England. Elfwine. He's got a claim on England, which we could try to press. Bjorn, the Prince of Denmark. Denmark's close enough we might be able to get involved with something. Grass, it's me again. Yes, and I did hit 200,000 subscribers. I keep wanting to do a proper video or something like that. But yes, a couple of days ago, 200,000 subscribers officially hit on the channel, which I... I want to make a proper sort of thank you to you guys, because I never look at that as something I did, that's something you guys did, so I want to say a thank you to you guys, and I don't know how to do it yet. I mentioned that a few times, and I still am lost. Who do we want to marry? You're a bastard, so we're not going to marry you. Well, I suppose we could, but it seems unlikely. Hair lip? No, it's not a mustache. Hair lip is like a cleft in the lip over here. Hair as in bunny. Yeah, these are all legitimate, legitimized bastards in uh, in Denmark. I guess that's probably why they're a little bit more willing to uh, to marry. Not Denmark. They have elective kings. Interesting. Well, this is a super old dude, though. He's 38 already. My sister is, what, six years old still? I mean, that doesn't mean they can't have babies. Oh, she, he's a bastard, too. All right, maybe Duncan. He's 15. He is so not in line for the throne. No, he is. How is Malcolm your heir? What's the uh, what's the succession laws in Scotland? How do I check the laws? Hello, thank you for the the donation. Come to Denmark. We were all in Sweden. Well. You mean me, or do you want me to marry someone from Denmark? Seriously, how do we find out? I'm assuming they have some whacked out laws. Oh, agnatic elective? Yeah, it's elective. Okay, you know what? Hold on, we might be able to work something with that, though. Because the elections might change. So right now... Match really in your marriage. Right now, Donald... Or Duncan... Duncan's the firstborn son. And he's got really good traits. He's got arbitrary, which makes other people not like him. But he's got kind, charitable. Um, his diplomacy is already to six. He's not of age yet. We're going to marry Duncan. Matrilinearly. And things might change. And get him at the top of the succession laws. Now, this is only a betrothal. They might not go through with it. Let's see what happens. 
And yes, the other idea was to marry the Polish prince non-matrilinearly so we'd get some allies, which is also worthwhile. But let's see if we can get a, a von Habsburg on the throne in Scotland. It can happen, you guys. A uh, new marshal. Sure. I know, I could have been patient or whatever, but we're going to do that. And yeah, maybe I should have done the Polish thing. I don't know. They might have come in. Mm. Maybe it would have been smarter. Depends. Or Tuscany. Are you currently in a war? Are you independent, Tuscany? You're legit independent. I wonder if there's anything I could have married over there. I could have married you to Pasquale. Could be. Let's fast forward. Let's try to uh, come of age and see what we can do. We still have to marry someone. Louis tried to have me assassinated. You tried to kill my mom? Sir, I wouldn't discover his plot to kill the mayor. What? Okay, so... Oh, we can't arrest anyone as a result of that? Really? Seems odd. I have to take a break in just a minute here. But uh, let's see if we can't wait until we come of age to take our break. And then we can start the second segment of today's live stream with the ability... There we go! Bam! Regency has ended. We are misguided warriors, so that is like a rank one warrior, which is pretty weak. Our stats are pretty pathetic all over. But we can marry, we can pick up uh, character focus, which will help a lot. We can pick ambitions, we can do all those things. So as we take a break, you guys ponder what kind of things we might want to do. Just out of curiosity. We can marry Edelheid. We can marry Edelheid. Oh, right, because his heir, because it's elective in the HRE, right? So we can marry Edelheid, who is the eldest daughter of the current Kaiser, but it looks like Duke Bruno is actually going to uh, become the next um, Kaiser. But that doesn't mean we don't have, like, an awesome, awesome bloodline shit going on. Plus, what does that do alliance-wise? We get an alliance. Oh, Emma, Princess of France. Hang on a sec. I don't suppose you're the... You get a claim to France. Uh, wait. Where was I? Where's Emma? What? Alright, okay, let's go to France. King of France. Oh, Emma is like... She's the sister of the king. The sister of the king of France. That doesn't really put us in a position to inherit anything, I don't think. I mean, it might have claims we could press, but we're not going to war with France ourselves. We're just a duke right now. I think we marry... I mean, she's our friend. Right? Our friend, the Princess Edelheid. Well, she's only eight still. So we will betroth. Mary, yeah. Lava Jackal says, no, marry the princess who's your friend. Yeah, bit of an age gap right now. Um, but I think it's the way to go. We could just wait eight years for her to actually come of age so we know all our options, but she might be true to someone else in that time. Okay, I'm going to leave it pause. We're going to take a break. When we get back, uh, I'll do a little, uh, hell, I'll do a straw poll right now. I think we should marry her. Um, marry, um, it'll hide. Princess of HRE, plus childhood friend, Mary, aunt of king of France, Rob can't inherit, but good alliance, um, look for a genius slash quick wife, even if no title. I think those are the three probable options that we might be interested in. So I'll drop a poll in the chat and then take a short break. Oh, bam. All right, see you guys in a minute. 